I'm Timothy Gasson. They call me the AZ Puck Man. I've been following hockey at the University of Arizona for more than 30 years. And this is my Wildcat Hockey Report. Welcome to the Wildcat Hockey Report. I'm Timothy Gasson. They call me the AZ Puck Man. I'm with the head coach of the University of Arizona Wildcat hockey team. This is Chad Berman. Now, Chad, we've concluded the first semester of play. Now, the U of A did not have a lot of ice time for practice. You had a lot of injuries, but you were still able to beat a couple of top five ranked teams, and you're in line to compete for a spot in the national tournament. What do the Wildcats need to do in the second semester in order to secure that spot in the ACHA National Tournament? Yeah, certainly a tough semester. Uh, I'm, cert I'm a big believer that uh, adversity makes you stronger if you embrace it. And so for the most part, we were able to tackle some things, get some top five wins, one on the road. Um, you know, you look at this team moving forward here. We're, we're a team now who's knocked off milestones that haven't been done in a long time. Last year, we were the first team to win a national tournament game in 13 years. Now you come into this year, um, we're the first team ever to go into UCO and get a victory. Uh, we broke the streak against ASU. So these are all things we want to focus on positive-wise moving forward. We know we've got a good team. We've got a good group. Um, you can't predict injuries. You can't predict some of those things we had to deal with, but I do think it made us stronger. So going into the second semester, it's important that we get healthy, and we are. Uh, we got a couple defensemen coming back in Ryan Siegel and Matt Armenti, um, hopefully Sean Osment here mid-January. Um, and then obviously uh, we, we just need to engage our game and get back to our strengths. It has to start in the defensive end, something we were successful at last year. I think sometimes you add talent and, and people think it's enough, and it, uh, it, it adds to the equation, but it doesn't make the equation. So it's essential that we continue to be uh, great defensively, but uh, we're a fast team. It needs to be heavy on the forecheck, and that's really where, where we want to build. You mentioned a big win, and that's against number three ranked Arizona State here at home in the first semester. What did that win do to the psychology of this Wildcat team? Yeah, I mean, psychology, is a, it's, a, it's a very real thing in sports that some people don't want to talk about, but uh, um, when you go on streaks like that, that you become fighting yourselves. And when you're fighting yourselves on top of your opponent, and ASU is a great opponent, um, that makes it even harder. So to get that monkey off our back, we go into a game now believing we can win, knowing we can win, um, experience something that we know we, that we have and, and that we can continue to do moving forward. Um, confidence to me is the last step in success and it fuels further success. So we want to take that opportunity and move it forward. Uh, if we're going to get to Columbus, which is where the national tournament is, that's going to run through Tempe. So, um, you know, we're going to have to beat them again. Uh, and so hopefully that, that saves, um, uh, serves us well going forward. Now with you, this U of A hockey program never stands still. You're always looking to improve it. Have you added uh, any new players uh, in this second semester that can have an impact for these Wildcats? Yeah, on top of the guys getting healthy, our, our own guys coming back, uh, we're adding uh, an elite forward in Jason Zaleski. Uh, we, he's from Scranton, Pennsylvania. He uh, was point a game in Division Three hockey at Buffalo State. Very fast, very skilled, um, an elite hockey sense. Just watching him in his first practice out here today. Um, he's very good off the puck, and, and some hockey sense is what we'd love to add to it. There's, there's really no way to teach that. I can't teach hockey sense. You can, you can do things here and there, but that has to be a natural instinct. Uh, he was a point of game at D3. He was a 45-point guy in the Ontario Junior Hockey League and one of the best uh, junior programs in Canada. So, um, you know, to add a kid with that kind of experience, a kid who has a drive to play professionally, so he's very motivated, wants to, shares the same beliefs, wants to bring a national championship here to Tucson, um, I, I could be more excited about the addition of him. Now, the U of A Wildcats are very close to being one of those top 20 teams that will go to the national tournament. What exactly do the Wildcats need to do to make sure they're in that top 20 at the end of the second semester? Yeah, I think it's important, you know, I, the, the room knows we're confident around. The room knows we're getting healthy. The room knows that this, the rest of the ACHA hasn't seen the best version of us. Um, I think the, the challenge for the coaching staff here is we have to make sure that the focus is short. We can't be talking about five game win streaks um, and, and, and it's shorter than they think. I'm not talking a game, I'm not talking a period. Shift to shift, drill to drill, um, executing your passes, executing your communication on the ice. If we can emphasize to the guys that we take care of the small details and those things will add up and we'll be happy, I think we're gonna have a very good stretch run here. Well, we look forward to seeing the University of Arizona Wildcats in the second semester. This has been the head coach of the Wildcats, Chad Berman, and we'll be right back on the Wildcat Hockey Report. Welcome back to the Wildcat Hockey Report. I'm Timothy Gasson, and I'm joined by Shane Fossell. Shane is the goaltenders coach for the University of Arizona Wildcats. And not only that, Shane is a U of A hockey alum. You played goaltender here at the U of A. Shane, is there any special memory, any great thing that happened during your playing days here at the U of A? 
Yeah, well, I, it was such a, a great experience to be able to play here in, in this building in front of these fans. And uh, we used to fill this building for all of our games. And I remember specifically uh, playing for the national championship here at the TCC in 1991. We played against North Dakota State for the championship. It wasn't uh, the outcome we all wanted, but it was uh, an incredible experience with a, a great group of guys. Well, I remember those days very well here at the TCC with the crazy fans and Shane Fussell in goal, Donnie Carlson, very talented goaltenders. Now you have a new group of goaltenders here yes. at the U of A that you're in charge of coaching. What is it that you want to achieve with these goaltenders here in the second semester? So in the second semester, we really try to work on specific scenarios. Uh, we try to refine some movements and, uh, and work on some situations that maybe they're struggling with a bit and, and really help them to dial in their focus uh, here going into the, uh, the last half of the season. Now, goaltending in hockey is a very specific position. I don't know of any position in sports that is exactly like a goaltender in hockey. What are some of the elements in your mind as a coach that make a really good goaltender? I think first and foremost uh, is confidence. Uh, you have to have confidence as a goaltender, and that's what they need going into this, uh, into the national tournament phase of the season. You've got to have two goalies that you can depend on. You've got to have two goalies that have that confidence, game in and game out. And, uh, and that's what gets you through uh, all the way. If you look up into the NHL, the Stanley Cup, it's always they're riding the guy with the confidence. So let's talk about these U of A goaltenders. Do, does the U of A have the talent between uh, the posts uh, to win a national championship? Absolutely, I think we do. Uh, I think that we've got two great goalies, both very athletic goalies. Little, uh, they both play a little different style of play, but uh, either one of them uh, can be interchangeable on any given night, and, uh, and, and that's what we need. Well, we look forward to seeing uh, Shane Fossell's goaltenders in uh, the second semester for the University of Arizona Wildcats, and we hope to see you on the next Wildcat Hockey Report.